Whenever you're ready, sir. Whenever you're ready, those magic words I haven't recorded in weeks, man. Welcome back, everybody. It's good to be, well, it's good to be back. There's a lot going on. So, a lot has happened. We're actually at work. Uh, Jay is on his way here in a second. Camera guy is here in his glory. And we are in a, it's actually a parcel delivery company. These are actually all brand new little Renault Zoes. Lovely little cars, gotta be honest. Properly nice little motors. I'll show you one in a second. But anyway, right. So much has happened behind the scenes in the last six weeks. Um, so, our industrial unit, we're actually no longer in our unit. Uh, I am sort of in there, our tenancy runs out in March. So basically what happened, and that's why we haven't been recording, what happened was January came along and when we took that unit out, I took it out on a 12 month contract. That was the deal, it was a short term lease. Now I'm filling in a few blanks here because I, I actually don't know the whole story myself, but essentially what's happened is our tenancy was due to renew in March. I approached the landlord and said, I assume we're renewing, everything's okay. And basically she turned around and said, yes, absolutely fine, but uh, the rent's gonna be going up a little bit. And I was like, okay, fine, how much? And it's, we're paying 35 grand a year and she's doubling it to 71, I, 70 or 71. I mean, it's a, it's an, it's a really sh steep rise. Um, so I politely declined and said, on this occasion, we're gonna go somewhere else. So hence we're moving out. So that really floored me at the beginning of January because that was unexpected. I think what's happened is basically that whole estate, they're flattening it to put houses there. And she owns the entire estate, this woman. And I've got a feeling, I don't know 100%, but this is my gut feeling. She's put her planning in and because I think she thought it was going to get approved faster than what it was. And because that was why I was on a 12 month lease. And I think what happened is there's been some sort of delay in her planning and now she can offer longer leases, but because she can offer longer leases, because she's offering a three-year lease. So something's obviously happened in the planning process and it's now slowed down. And because of that, she can just put the price up and she has full on put the price up. Um, I'm moving out, the unit next door, the garage, there's an auto shop next, they're moving out. Part of delivery company to the left, they're moving out. <laughs> Everyone's just turned around and gone, so read between the lines, you know? So I get it. I mean, she's a businesswoman. And like, if I was in the same position, would I do it? probably you know we're, we're all here to make money i mean i actually i think that increase is a bit immoral to be honest but i mean again it's business so we, we're moving out all of my stuff is almost out i've taken out a self-storage locker literally just around the corner so i've just basically i've sold off a load of, anything that we haven't used in like the last three months I've basically just sold it and got rid of it because the price of storage lockers is really expensive. So I've hired a storage locker. All of the stuff that we need to keep is all in, in storage at the moment while I look for another unit. Although I'm not actually looking for a unit now, I'm gonna look for land to put port cabins on, which I'm gonna explain in a minute. So yeah, um, and a lot's changed. And I thought, you know what? It's a good time to change a lot of stuff that we're doing. So this truck, for instance, we're keeping this one. This is why there's, we've, I've just had no time to do content. There's just so much has been going on. So this truck we're gonna keep, because this is what, this is the blank check to our money on highways. So I wanna keep this. The Renault Traffics, I've sold one, that's gone, because the problem with the Renault Traffic, do you remember about two months ago it was? I was asking you guys, should I sell them? Should I not sell them? Half the reason was because it doesn't matter how much I sort of squint and tilt my head, those vans just don't work for highways. Yeah, they, just, they just don't, it doesn't matter what I do to those vans. You only ever see five types of vans doing highways work. Cherry pickers, me, uh, sorry, cherry pickers, tippers, drop sides, welfare vans and high abs. That's all you ever see. You don't see standard vans, you just don't see them. So they don't have a purpose in the line of work that I wanna get into. So I'm like, you know what? If we're, if we're moving out of that unit, if I'm selling off a load of stuff, sell one of those vans, Use the money I sold it for 18,000. So sell that van. That could pay off some of the unsecured credit card. We've got, they'll basically pay off all of the unsecured credit card debt we've got. Pays off all of that. It's like 15, we've got, I think, 10 grand on an Amex card and about five grand on a capital card, I think, something like that. So it pays off all of those. And then I thought, I don't know if I'm going to sell the other van yet. I'm not sure. What I, I think I might, because what I want to do, sell the other Renault traffic. I've still got one. So I've sold one sell the other one, use that one as a deposit to get a traffic management vehicle. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, the other reason I'm not too fussed about moving out of that unit is because it just doesn't quite work either. Um, the reason it doesn't work is because, the problem is when we, 
when we were getting into this, I didn't, I didn't know enough. And that's just a learning curve, you know? But there's, there's issues here, like our highways work. I'm, I'm not on a street, I can't show you. Our highways ticket is almost in. There's a, there's a lot going on. I'm trying to explain the last six weeks, but basically our highways ticket is almost in. We've almost got it. I'm about 98% of the way there. So I've done my final highways audit. Um, I had to get a consultant to help us get the last, you know, the last hurdle. So he's giving us a hand and we're almost there. So I've nearly got my highways card. Once I've got that, that gets us out on the highways on our own without any other companies needing to assist us. That gets us out on the road. The problem is that only gets us doing electrical work and this is where the issue of the unit comes in. I want to do column changes, that's what I want to get into, feeder pillar replacements, column replacements. As soon as I get my highways card, it's super easy for me to add extra credentials to it. I, all I've got to do is go on a column course and I, they just add that qualification to my highways card. Super, super simple. Once you've got the hard bits, getting a card. Once you've got the card, adding to it is a doddle. It's really simple. The new problem is then I'm like, okay, if I'm going to get into column replacements, because I've got a job in Highgate to replace seven columns, I've accepted the job and I, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't got any of the equipment to do it. So I'm going to have to stall the job. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to get there. I don't know yet. But basically, to do that, I have to get a 12 ton truck with a HIAB, you know, the ones like um, UK Power Networks use. I have to buy one of those trucks. Now, I can't park one of those trucks at that unit. It'll, you know, I can't even park it out the front. It'll just annoy everybody on that estate. So what I need, and I'm looking at a piece of land. Now, basically, I need a piece of land like, um, what's his name, Asheville. He's just basically got a plot of land and he's just gone and popped port cabins on it because that way he can have huge trucks, lorries. He's not disturbing anybody. That's kind of the other reason. I'm like, if I'm moving out of that unit, actually, I really don't, I'm not too fussed because the direction of what we're doing is changing and that's the direction I'm going in. And also there's other, there's other logistical issues like an eight meter column. I can't even store that in that unit. But it, there are just lots of logistical bits. I'm like, you know what? It, it, well, yeah, when I think of the rent increase, I'm like, fine, just keep it. And actually there's I can get land cheaper. I mean, that unit was, was three and a half grand a month, I think, or whatever it was. I can get a piece of land and put port cabins on it for half that, 1,500. So there's a lot going on, which has, you know, we just, that's why content has stopped. We just haven't had time. So loads of you have actually emailed. I've had emails, phone calls. I've had so many people ringing, asking if everything's all right. It is, it's fine. There's just a lot of change going on at the moment. Very good, very positive change, actually. When we... When I realized we were moving out the unit, trust me, that gutted me like a fish. Um, but six weeks later of just like thinking about it, actually, it's a really good thing. And it's pushing us in a direction a lot quicker, actually. A lot of benefits. It sounds silly. When you move, when something happens and you think, shit, what now? Come on, give me a break. You know, at that moment, it seems really bad. But actually, six weeks down the line, when you had time to think about it every day, opportunities that you didn't realize appeared have just suddenly started sprouting out the ground. And actually, this is a really, it's such a good, it's really good, but it's just taken a bit of time for me to see it that way. So there's a lot going on, a lot of good stuff, um, but content will, it will resume, but it's just going to take a bit of time. While I'm up here, I was thinking about it. I think it does make sense. Bin the other van, the other runner traffic. If I get rid of that one as well, use that as the deposit for a, a traffic management vehicle right so that would leave technically that would leave me i know i keep going on about this but it's just this is a real issue that i've got to get around that would leave me with this truck the cherry picker a traffic management vehicle and the kangoo and i could even get rid of the kangoo as well thinking about it and i could use that i wouldn't be able to buy the 12 ton truck outright with that no way but i could use the money i sell the kangoo for to buy a high ab that was my theory. That would leave me with this, a TMV and the Kangoo, but I could get rid of the Kangoo as well. But should I? Because that's quite a handy little van. What do you, what do you guys think? Because I'm, try I'm trying to, th the that black traffic doesn't have, for highways, it doesn't work. This is the issue. Even if, you, even if I take the racking out and sell it, it doesn't work. It doesn't, it just, you don't see them on highways that, and that's why. Because you can't even fit a two meter barrier inside them. Now, if I can't fit a two meter barrier, it's, but that's where a TMV comes in. So leave your feedback. And that's the other thing with a TMV, traffic management vehicles, what things should I have on them? Because a couple of you guys work on highways already and you already drive them. 
because a couple of you gave me some good advice on this one, like the two-man bucket and stuff. So with the TMV, what, what good things should I have on that? Because you can spec those, uh, same as this, you can spec it as much as you want, but put below what you think I need and just give me some feedback on it because uh, there's a lot of you that know a lot more about this than I do. I'm just, I'm very green to this and I'm feeling my way through it. That's the plan anyway. Yeah, leave your thoughts and feedback uh, below, especially the, the one benefit we've got is that because I haven't, I'm not making a huge amount of sense over this, but the one benefit we've got is because I haven't got that unit now, I'm saving a bunch of money. So it's just, it makes a lot of sense to start. If I'm gonna start chopping and changing stuff, now is the time I wanna do it. So leave your thoughts and feedback below. Vehicles you buy, what you wouldn't buy, any changes that need to be made, just put it all below. It'd be good to, because there's a lot of you that are already doing this or you have more experience in this field. Leave it below and let me know. But I'm not 100% sure when the next video is gonna be. Might be next week. It might be next month i'm not entirely sure but i will try and keep in touch and keep you all posted and uh, yeah we'll be in touch soon <laughs>